signupgenius.com. It is the best donation management software available. So let's get started on how to use it. First off, you're going to look at the top right and you're going to log in and then it's going to give you the option to register your account. So you're going to put in your details and over here, you're going to click on new account and then you're going to put in your details. And once I create my account, I'll get back to you guys. So once you've created your account and you've activated it using your email account, Sign Up Genius is going to ask you about what kind of donations that you're often going to be creating, what is your role in your organization. You can fill this out, but I'm just going to skip it for now. So over here is your basic dashboard, and this is what you're going to see once you've logged into your account. Over here, you have invited to. So if there are signups that you have signed up for currently, or any signups that you have been invited to are going to be present over here. And just on the left of this, you can see created. And over here, you're going to create your own signups. And you can see all of your previous signups that you've created. So let's get started with creating a signup. You're going to scroll to the top and you're going to see on the right side that there's this green button that says create a signup. And you're going to click on that. Once this page has loaded, you're going to add the title of your signup. So if you're creating a parent teacher conference, um, you're going to put in that and I'm just going to put in the year, the name of your group. You could say it is the parent or G and you're going to, you can add whatever purpose or category that your group is serving. So if this invite is for fundraising, if it's just a scheduled invite, or if it's for volunteering, I'm just going to keep it general. You can select your cause. So I'm just going to go with, I'm going to search something related to school. Uh, over here, we have education. Yeah. So our purpose is education. And over here, you can see the different kind of themes that are available. And you're going to select a theme that is going to serve your needs. So we're just going to look for educational themes over here like this. And this and now it's going to show us many, many themes that are related to education. So back to school themes, book club themes, book fairs and all that. I'm just going to select the back to school desk like this and i'm going to save and continue now you have slots so slots is basically where you're going to have your parents sign on so if you're going to send this sign up or invite basically to other parents you're going to have them sign so it basically serves as a confirmation to who is going to come and who is not going to come you can format your sign up so you can sort them by date and this is the kind of sign up that has one or more slots per time so if at the same time two people can be present you can sort it by date but if the sign up is related to something that's going to be done individually and it's going to be one person per time you can do sort by slot then you also have a slots only so slots only is if there's no specific date or time or you can select single date RSVP. So if you have RSVPs to the uh, to the invite, if you're going to be present and hosting this event, you can add that over here. I'm just gonna go for slots only. And then you can even add more slots according to however many people are going to come to your event. You could say parent one, this is a parent, and we have six slots and then we're gonna save that. And then this is how you add your slots. You can add more slots accordingly and you can even bulk add slots. So let's just say we have parents, teachers, volunteers, students, and we need four of each. We're going to save that and this will just create the slots and you won't have to individually type in each slot and then you're going to add a end date. The end date is basically the last day to which someone can sign up for your uh, signupgenius.com invite. So I'm just going to set it to the 26th and then we're going to save and continue. Once you have done that and, and created your basic sign up, you can ask for the participant's name. Obviously, that's going to be required. So who is going to come to your sign up? You can require the email or make it optional. Uh, and you can also require or keep comments optional. You can add even more things. So if you want the phone number address or you can add any custom question. So if it is a informal invite, you can ask if someone is bringing food or if someone is going to be bringing donations or anything like that. Um, let's just say we're asking for donations or a entry fee. You can also keep that. 
and you can ask if they are going to be able to bring it or not. I'm just gonna leave it optional and then you can have your preferences set. So you can also allow people to swap slots with each other. So if someone is available on 7 p.m. and someone just reserved the slot for 7 p.m. but they're available the entire day, they can swap slots with each other and that will be really helpful for them. You can also have notifications so you can get notified every time someone signs up or deletes themselves from the slot you can also create restrictions so if there are certain people that you don't want to sign up for your event you can restrict them and also you can have your own integrations which is very helpful if you are running something a bit complex but this is just a beginner's tutorial so we're gonna save and continue and just like that, you can save your sign up and you can just publish it right now or save it as a draft if you want to make some changes. Uh, you can see here we added parent.organization, parent teacher conference 2020, and these are the available slots. People will be able to click on them and then sign up. And this is how it's going to look. And now you can just publish. And here you go. You have created your first ever sign up. And this was just a very basic sign Sign up you can create far 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 more complex signups using sign up dot and this was just a very basic sign up you can create very very complex signups using signupgenius.com so that was your first ever sign up but if you're someone that's going to be creating recurring signups for a specific group so if you're a part of your school organization then you might have to be creating several signups pretty frequently after every summer break or even at every weekend and you might want to know who's coming who's not this is going to really help you manage that and you can just create a specific group so let's just say this is a work events group and then you can add members to this group and then you can send them your signups without having the hassle of asking everyone at the office if they're going to come to the weekend party or not. Now we're going to take a look at the personal account details in signupgenius.com. Here are your messages. So this is going to be your message dashboard. Here you're going to compose your messages. If you're going to send any emails or any invites to people, you can send them through here. You can see your drafts and templates. So if it's an extended message, you can easily draft it first and here you have your sent messages below messages you can see you have reports so reports will give you basic analytics of who has so below messages you can see we have reports so reports will give you your basic analytics to who has signed up who are volunteers and how have your signups been doing so you can see your stats and you can see the statistics of your signup so how well is your signup doing and here in the basic signups part of your report section you can see the date range and a report style if you want a report on the event so this is a easy way to see how your event turned out and just create a general report and send it to anyone that might be of higher authority to you or just someone that needs a general report from you on how the signup has been going and you even have a volunteer section so you can calculate the volunteer hours that your members have signed up for and you can also create a report about that so if there are any volunteers in the parent teacher conference i can see how many hours they signed up for and that's just going to help me efficiently move tasks to them and yeah you also have your tools so this is like your basic settings you can manage uh, administrators the portal pages you can edit people on your signups print your signups and have a web button builder and here at the bottom we have collect so you can collect your donations on signup.com and this is only available for America and Canada. So if you're living in the States or living in Canada, you can use this option. But the method is just the same. So if you're living in the States or Canada, you're just going to create a sign up and you're going to have the option to add a donation uh, button on there. And then you can collect your donations over here. And this is only available for residents of America and Canada. But the donations are usually collected through uh, V or MasterCard. And yeah, that was it for signupgenius.com and I'll catch you guys in the next one.